my first stop is the Random Museum, and maybe I'll go to another stop. Okay, here we go. Says your car is on the way in four minutes. Oh, there it is. I see it. I guess I shouldn't wave because what's the point, right? What's the point? Oh, but it stopped. I'm here. Oh, I think it's confused. Better run before it goes away. It wasn't supposed to stop here. OK. We're going to pick my son up at the Random Museum. I thought it was going to feel like unsafe because, you know, my life is in this car's hand, the computer. But actually, I feel like really chillax. So what I do like is that it's following the speed limit, so it's very safe. Um, and when it comes to a stop, it does a complete stop, not like a California stop, like we all do. No, like everything, it's something new. Okay, I think we're stopped. Oh my God. Yes, okay. All right, right now there's a green light and nothing is happening. We are stuck. And not only that, we're not even on the left-hand side properly. Uh-oh. Okay, it says our team is working to get you moving. Uh-oh. It was green light, it didn't know what to do. So how can I rely on a car to make the right decisions? when it can't read a simple green light. Now we're going, here we go. Woo! There's my son. Hey Max, we're almost there. Oh, this is weird. This is not where we're going. This is not where the Randall Museum is. For your safety, the doors will remain locked when we arrive. So I guess it's a little confused because this is not where the Randall Museum is. So I don't know what to do at the moment. Had there been a driver right here, I would have said, hey, you know, you this is the wrong location and I would give him the instructors except that there's instructions there's nobody here right now now I'm gonna have to call support and see what I could do because I'm completely at a loss right now um, the location where I want to be is over there and it's dropped me at the bottom of this hill connected to rider support. Go ahead and open your Waymo app. Okay, so go ahead and tap on your current drop-off. Okay, which is Randall Museum, but it says five minute walk after drop-off. I would have to go up the hill and around the block. Go to the map to find 10 location. So you'll go ahead. Let me see, hold on. All right, I'm just gonna confirm it and see what happens. I don't know what to do at this point. I hope it takes me there. So hopefully it'll make a left, but it's not. It's gonna make a right. Ooh, I don't know where it's taking me right now. I wish I could talk to the driver. Then uh, tell him make a right, make a left. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's oh, it's it gonna to make a right it's again. A oh, wait, wait, it might, oh, it's dropping me in the same place where it dropped me off before. Okay, uh, we're back to square one. Hello, Max. Vehicle approaching. Sorry, sorry, it didn't work out. And I felt like trapped inside here. I just felt like so useless in this. You don't hire a driverless car. It drops you off and then tells you your location is five minutes away walking that's that's not even cool my son could have ran or you know walked down the hill that would have been okay but what if it had been a disabled person somebody on crutches and a wheelchair um they can't do that i came into this like with a lot of optimism and now i'm not sure i would say have fun with it but be prepared to be frustrated so I'm gonna go now and drive down to the Randall Museum and see how easy it, it is to get there. Here we go. The driverless car, instead of going straight to the Randall Museum, it decided to make a ride here made no sense whatsoever. And you could just see for yourself, this is an ordinary street. And the Randall Museum is at the end of the street. We have arrived. We never got here, which was the most frustrating thing.